Hi guys, so recently I've been living life at the rate of 690 kilometers per hour and I've been trying to push through it, I've been trying to stay strong, but this has been me most of the time. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Angie and today we're just going to be talking about how intense and crazy life can get sometimes because I've been going through it recently and it seems to just keep getting, you know, more intense the more we go and a big part of that is because um, this school semester has been very crazy. I am just about to complete my undergraduate studies so the final year is always intense because you have electives, you, you know, you, most of us take on more units to get extra credits or to just level up our grades in preparation for graduation so there's a lot a lot of demand output demand on your side and it gets even crazier when you are a working student or when you have other engagements co-curricular activities because you have to find a way to balance all that so for me it's more that i work on the side and i also run this youtube channel which has been intense because running a youtube channel is so much more difficult than it looks like you have to make time to create ideas you have to make time to write you know a, a synergy a synthesis of how your videos will flow and you also have to make time to edit which i still haven't been able to like down which i still haven't been able to you know downsize my editing hours so it takes a huge chunk of my day among other many things and on top of all that uh, i also work you know there's a lot of you know demands right now at work and so juggling all those things has just been <sighs> i was just feeling like i need to take a break and uh, this thing why i decided to make a video is because recently i was in the library trying to catch up with all the assignments and readings that i had to do for the week and it just got to a point where my brain just kind of shut down a little like it refused to process anything and the words on my laptop just looked like you know little tiny ants moving and that's how i usually know i have a thing where i usually know when i'm about to go through a severe severe episode of uh i don't know if burnout is the correct word but just when i'm overwhelmed and my body is like no that's we're not gonna do that so that's kind of what i was going through and i was like hey i need to calm down slow myself a little because by that point i had just accepted uh, a new job offer and the demand was extremely high so on top of all that i'm still a full-time student and i have other engagements on the side and you know i was just feeling like you know what i have to have to have to have to like either find a way to balance all this or just put some things on hold because when you're juggling things and you don't have an elaborate system in place yet one thing will suffer one or more things must suffer because there's no way it's not humanly possible for you to divide yourself in so many segments so many chunks and you just have 24 hours in a day so that's kind of where i had gotten to where i was feeling like even if i wake up at 5 a.m every morning just to do this work on time for me to just go to class and have the rest of my day clear i still have so many other engagements and schoolwork especially schoolwork i keep emphasizing because you know it's, it's a new experience uh, for us we've never taken this much units ever so it's a very very new experience and of course you still need time to socialize you're still human and to rest and all that so i was just doing the math and i was like if i am to take this seriously if i'm to juggle these four major things in my life right now i might just be the one to just suffer and you know so I was like, you know what, I have to let go of a few things before I burn out. So I don't want to like put myself in a position where I can't give my best for, to school. That's like my number one priority. But at the same time, these other commitments are also part of me, are also part of my journey, I believe, to where I want to see myself as an adult, full-fledged adult who will be working in a few years. So it was very difficult to me, but it just got to a point where I had to let the new job offer go and this is crazy because i had just accepted the job offer worked for one week a full week and i was just like you know what i'm done i'm out i can't so having to hand in that uh 
I think I should call it a resignation. I had to hand in a resignation just seven days after accepting the offer and starting to work. And it felt really bad at first because I'm like, Akinani, who quits their job like seven days in? That's so, I'm sure they'll never look at me the same again. Like I had just, I felt so bad because first of all, the recruitment process just to get to where I was at that moment to sign a contract to them had taken so long. There was so much intense training and i just felt like now i was letting this thing go because i couldn't i couldn't uh, work out a way to balance my time and everything so i was really hard on myself and i couldn't believe i was doing it and for a few days i was even battling with the decision where i had gotten to a point where I like i was like you know i can actually do this i can actually you know meet the demands give the output that's needed and still handle my schoolwork but i just deep down i knew i was lying to myself because even though it was possible you know when you think about it from an objective point of view knowing myself and knowing my workflow and knowing how much i can handle in a day i knew that would do more harm than good in the long run um in my in terms of my mental health in terms of like my school output which i said is my number one priority right now in terms of my socialization with other people because if i choose to continue with that um that line of work i would have had to lock myself up most days do the work and then also still find time to do my assignments and everything so i just thought uh, long and hard about it and i just decided that at the moment it wasn't the best thing for me to keep going with you know juggling so i was just like you know what um it hurts but uh, i handed in my resignation and the guys were like you know we're not gonna let you go we're just gonna pause your contract until you're free i was just like huh crazy and then i thought back to how people are always being encouraged to take a step take a step take a chance because you never know what comes out of it and for me taking a chance meant speaking up for myself in terms of like i can't handle it let me just be honest i can't handle it right now and if i continue working for you guys it's gonna be taxing for me mentally and you know in other aspects of my life so i just decided to take that step and just say this is not gonna work for now so just having that courage to put yourself out there and just you know speak your truth and be genuine about it and say you can't handle it because most of the times you're encouraged to speak up when it benefits you but when it's you showing your vulnerability and showing your limitations you know it's, it's not a it's given the same energy so for me to just do it and say i can't handle it and still get a somewhat positive response because you know nothing is guaranteed yet it was very i don't know i, I don't know if encouraging is, is the word is the correct word but it just reinforced all these things i've been trying to say so far on this channel about first of all just being genuine with yourself knowing what you can do or knowing what you can't do and also just putting yourself out there because you never know the outcomes most of the times we're so in our head about everything in our heads about everything and we forget that the reality is not exactly as we perceive it to be meaning that things are happening outside of yourself and if you let yourself remain in your headspace and how you process information and how you analyze risks and everything you'll probably hold yourself back from so many things that would have benefited you so the long and short of it is know your limits know your limits and just know when to set some things aside because you're human at the end of the day i keep saying this please don't forget that you are having a human experience and the human experience transcends any output you'll ever give to your company or any tasks that you the number of tasks that you complete you're so much more than that and if you don't take care of yourself even accomplishing the things that you've set out to accomplish will become that much harder because you're operating from a negative so if you're feeling overwhelmed if you're feeling like things are not working out for you if you're feeling like you have too much on your plate consider letting a few things go or else you might suffer at the long run and the damage may be irreparable meaning that you may not be able to recover from it or if you do it will take such a long time alternatively if you're in a position where you can reschedule a few things to fit the new things the new opportunities that are coming to your life or if you just need to build your discipline and form a routine and stick to it then by all means go for it because you know your goals are, are there for you to achieve and i still believe that you can do anything you put your mind 
going to just as long as you understand your limits and you understand when to rest and when to just take a back seat so in all that i've said i hope this video has been helpful to someone who is feeling like they're sinking at the moment it doesn't have to be that you can always let a few things go as long as you think deeply through them and if you see that it's something that's going to benefit you in the long run then by all means just take a back seat you'll catch up where you left off when the time is right so i hope this video has been helpful to someone out there and thank you very much for watching i will see you on the next one don't forget to comment like and subscribe for more content like this bye